Now, keep in mind, I've already shown you the preview mode, which is W to look at your um, containers or W to get rid of the edges and so you don't have to look at guides. But I also want to talk about the display performance. So I'm going to go to File and Open, come down here to Folder 5 in Chapter 2. And again, I can't open anything but my InDesign file. And I've laid out a simple page right here. Okay, what I wanted to show you is how to set up your display performance. Now, I already did it in my um, preferences, but I want to show you what happens here. So I'm going to take my zoom tool and zoom in real close on this Illustrator logo. Real, real close. Like that. Real close. Okay, look how slick and clean these lines are, the corners of the star look perfect. And that is because I have set up InDesign to show my details correctly. But I wanna show you what's gonna happen if you did not do that. So under InDesign menu, preferences. Now again, before I go on, if you're on a PC, that would be edit preferences down here but I'm on a Mac so InDesign preferences display performance like I said this is the first thing that I check but in other computers in another computer lab or whatever on a friend's computer they might not have set this the default is called typical so I'm going to set these both to typical and I'll click OK then there are two display performances that you have to be aware of. One is under InDesign Preferences, Display Performance. And the other one that is tied to those is View Menu, Display Performance. And this is the default, Typical. Okay. So I set those both up. Now my screen is not changing. So what I'm going to do is now that I have set these up, Show me everything in typical. I'm going to close this file. Now my InDesign is set up. View, display, and typical. InDesign preferences, display performance is typical. Okay. Now let's go to file and open. Open up this file again. And let's zoom in on our logo. Well, great. Now that still looks good, but here's the issue. Mine's not changing, so I want to show you what usually happens. Under InDesign Preferences and Display Performance, when you set Typical, let's use Defaults, there we go, Defaults, I forgot to click that button, this is what happens, okay? These are set toward the middle, Typical Display. Mine were still stuck over here because I forgot to hit use defaults. That's like resetting everything. When I click OK, this is what is going to look like for your Illustrator files. Notice your graphics look all pixelated. Your Illustrator file looks like you don't know what you're doing. You print that, you're going to get fired. Okay. That is the default setting. This is typically what InDesign wants you to work with. And this is kind of a memory saving device. InDesign knows that this is an Illustrator file. It's not like I drew it this way, but it's a placeholder. It says, yeah, your, Inde your GI Joe logo will print nice, but we're just kind of showing you a general idea of what it would look like and where it's going to go on the page. Like, no, this looks horrible. Okay, so be aware. That's the first thing I do is set up my display performance. InDesign, preferences, display performance. The default is in the middle. That's typical. I'm going to set this to high quality. Set this one to high quality. And the thing that drives people nuts is when I click OK, it didn't change. So remember with your InDesign preference of display performance, 
that has to match your view menu and display performance. This is still stuck on typical. They both have to be set to high quality and look at the difference. Huge difference. Look at my graphics. They're not all pixelated anymore. Things look nice and smooth. Okay, if I hold down my cursor, notice the edge of his collar down here. That's typical view because I haven't let go of the mouse yet. See, that's high quality display. So just be aware of that. I would do that each and every time you come into InDesign. Set up your display performance under preferences and match that with your view menu display performance. They got to match. Now, again, I got a bunch of boxes around here and I don't want to look at all those boxes, those frames. Notice how Cobra Commander goes right off the edge of the page. He goes right off the edge of the page at the bottom. Snake Eyes' his arm goes off to the edge of the page. But if I hit the letter W, that is my preview. This is the artwork that would print on the physical sheet of paper. W for preview mode again to turn that off. Now I can see all the boxes that I put all my graphics in. I can see the bleed, how far it goes past the edge of the page. But if you don't like looking at all those boxes, because they're not going to print anyway, W. There we go. Display settings. Get them right. And we'll move on.